My mouth is a bit pale, but it's makeup just around my mouth because of that little thing. So, <laughs> hello, welcome to my channel. So, today I just wanted to talk about something. Mm. I think that's so fun, but we can make it a positive one anyway. So, let's start. Today I was going to run some jaywalk tests but I'm not because after the Czech Republic uh, trip uh, one of the trainers caught a cold some of us also did I was kind of bad for like two or three days so it was not that long uh, so I don't want to do max tests when I feel like this because it feels weird to run and and then my legs started cramping when I ran it was like yesterday the day before oh. anyway so today I woke up uh, I said to mom that we're going to see if I will compete and then I woke up and was like you know what we will listen to our bodies today it feels kind of sad to not compete because I like prepared really good for this and I just wanted to be fit for this competition and then I rested for a day and then I started to feel pretty bad. I was going to rest one more day and that was the plan. I think I rested three days then I just took a little bike ride the fourth day then I tried running and then felt weird. It happens. Uh, you can't do anything about it. There are more competitions. It's better to think positive than uh, to just be depressed and stuff. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. I have something to learn from this too. You learn from everything and if something happens like I will probably have more important competitions in the future. So this was not the most important and if it was the most important competition and this would have happened you know there is more there is more to come <laughs> like I'm still I'm still 17 I'm still young I have so many more competitions I can run and um, if your body says that it's not like at least 90% ready <laughs> then it's better to just no. You can't be 100% for every competition, but at least you need to be like 90% for the competition. Because if you are not ready, then it's like, it's better to focus on your health than competitions, I think. Yeah, things happen. We see. I don't think I will compete tomorrow. Uh, because, yeah, but we will see tomorrow. Then maybe I will compete the day after, but we will see. I take every day as it comes. I just need to stay positive right now. Uh, we just need to stay positive right now. I can go on an uh, adventure with my dog. I can go for a bike ride. And by the way, I tested for a COVID and it wasn't COVID, so that was good. <laughs> it would have been weird if it was because I've already had COVID, so... My mind is like this today, but if this would have happened like half a year ago, I would go like, mm. but now I'm like, mm. by the way, I want to show you, I had nothing to do yesterday because I'm always training and when I can't train, I'm like, what to do, what to do, what to do. So I made this shirt. I just cut it here. I made it tighter here and then I had an old a uh, zipper. So it turned out great. Hi, it's the day after I filmed yesterday. Yesterday was the first day that the other ones were competing uh, in the jaywalk um, competitions and now it's the second day and I am still not competing because yeah I wanted to feel like 100% one day first. And I feel good today, so it's good. Uh, I just wanted to come with some words of wisdom. I think that when I like, when I decide to not go compete, that feels like the biggest thing in the world right then, right then and there. So uh, it feels like a much bigger thing that it actually is. 
your health is more important than the competition and it feels like it isn't at the moment because you can fix that later but it's never the perfect uh, time to fix anything it can just be worse and yeah that's the same with like injuries and stuff you have to fix it when the problem is coming in every time is the perfect time so just do it right at the time it feels so big and it feels like you're missing out on so much but in a week i'm going to be like good thing that i missed the first competitions uh, tomorrow i will run one competition the last competition of the jaywalk uh, tests and yeah it can be good it can be bad uh, it's not optimal but whatever it's the most optimal right now so yeah just remember that it feels big right now but in 10 years I'm not even gonna remember it so <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's fine <laughs> But exciting news that I'm competing tomorrow anyway. I didn't expect to compete this competition or like these competitions. There are two more days with competitions that are just, yeah, it's just competitions. It's nothing about the J walk. It doesn't have much with uh, the J walk tests to do, so it's just competitions, and that will be fun too. I will still get three competitions, and that's maybe what I would have managed uh, to start with because I was thinking like the two last days that's just going to be if I have energy to do it I probably would it was not a must so I will still have three competitions in a row and there are more competitions hope you like this video it was a, a little bit of deep talk and now I see I'm starting to get red in my face because it's so hot. It's like 23 degrees outside. That's hot to be in Sweden. Leave a like, subscribe and be bad! And if you think my mouth looks weird, it's just makeup on my lips. So I'm not sick. It's just because I had to, because I have like a thing here and it's really distracting so I just wanted to get it away and then I took makeup and then it looks yellow but it's better